Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever you guys happen to watch this timeless love reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then the reading may have a message for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading, all right? Divine Holy Spirit. What romantic love messages do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? Or whenever they happen to watch this timeless love reading. As always, guys, with any tarot reading, take what applies to you. Leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? And if it does, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, click the notification bell. And thank you for your support. If you would like to support another way, uh, purchase one of my books, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal, My Journey in the Classroom as an Empath and a Teacher. It is a page turn and read, I promise you. Uh, it's available for purchase on all platforms, including Amazon. Okay, it's an ebook and paperback formats. And I appreciate you guys for even considering purchasing. And I really, really appreciate you guys who have purchased. And thank you. And if you have purchased and enjoy the book, uh, leave some reviews for it, okay? Thank you in advance. All right. We have the King of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Princess of Pentacles, the World Card, and the Nine of Cups. Okay. Oh, raw energy, the Hermit. Okay. I feel like this is Spirit telling you guys that you're coming in contact with a significant partner but i feel like first you guys are balancing yourself out you're working through your shadow self you're working through your inner fears you're working through stuff from past lifetimes and for a lot of y'all y'all just reflecting over and going over the lessons that you've learned from previous relationships whether they be romantic your familial family relationships friendships work relationships whatever the case may be for you take it how it resonates but i feel like a lot of y'all have learned to let things go before they go too far. And what I mean by that is not sticking around in a, in a particular situation that doesn't benefit you. Not just giving other people the benefit of the doubt, giving yourself the benefit of the doubt. When you see something that is not working, like literally, you're leaving it alone. You're not dragging things out like you used to in the past, okay? That's what I'm feeling with that King of Pentacles, that High Priestess, and that Page of Pentacles, the Prince of This. I feel like if you see something that isn't working and your intuition is screaming at you on all cylinders, you're leaving it alone, okay? And I feel like some of y'all have left someone alone in the past that wasn't living up to what it is that you wanted out of a relationship, even though they may have financially suited you. But it's like the relationship was like they were too how should I put it, analytical, and maybe this is just your energy, the analytical side of you versus your intuition side, and I feel like a lot of y'all are balancing that divine masculine and divine feminine energy for yourselves, okay, I feel like, like I said, I keep feeling like self-love is key in this particular reading right here, because for a lot of y'all, you're not going to be sticking around to see the other shoe drop, it's like for quite a bit of y'all, y'all gave the benefit of the doubt, to other people and you ended up out in the cold five of pentacles i feel like now it's not that you're trying to turn the tables but i really feel like now you're catching on to the signs quicker that spirit has been sending you by a particular person or a particular relationship whether it be romantic or otherwise and you just going on about your business you're leaving it at that and you moving forward okay like no hard feelings for some of y'all i feel like um with the three of cups here it's like your friends might be like okay well we knew that wasn't going to work out or you might meet a particular person at a friend's wedding because i keep seeing this three of cups as like a wedding so you might meet someone at someone's wedding and y'all gonna be over there in the corner getting to know one another and talking and everybody's gonna be watching y'all or just celebrating and then they're gonna say oh I, we, we seen you hugged up with this person or whatever but i feel like for the most part 
a lot of y'all are learning to balance your divine masculine and divine feminine energy within yourselves you're learning from the lessons of the past you're learning to trust yourself more trust your intuition more and you're learning to cut ties in relationships that no longer serve you that no longer pour into you as you pour into them okay i feel like a lot of y'all have been like i said with the princess of this receiving messages and realizing that hey a particular relationship whether it be romantic whether it be with a, a relative you know sometimes let's just be honest you some relatives don't mean you any good and that's what i mean by that you're learning to make your peace with it and move forward and a lot of y'all have been getting signs and synchronicities about that that you need to move forward and do what's best for you the world card signifies a new chapter a new beginning moving forward with fresh eyes yes reflecting on the lessons that you've learned in the past but also to moving forward to what's for you for a lot of y'all y'all letting something or someone go and if it happens to come back maybe it's for you maybe it's not but you'll know for sure as you lean more into your own understanding and into your intuition okay with the nine of cups i feel like for a lot of you guys you're gonna be living your best life like I said, some of y'all might meet someone at a wedding or some type of event and you're going to realize that, hey, maybe you and this person are going to vibe. Maybe you and this person are going to get to know one another, but it's like you're not going out seeking anyone. You're going to let things flow to you and come to you as they may. You're not going to go out searching for love, but you're not against it. That's what I keep feeling for some of y'all. Okay. Wowzers. Okay. So let's see, <laughs> Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they happen to watch this timeless reading? Let's see. That's too many. So some of y'all, y'all have broken up with someone. Some of y'all going to be caught. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's like you're not looking for the love, but it's going to come and find you. And love languages are going to be key in any relationship, to be honest. So this says courting. The period, this period of development towards a this period of development towards a romantic relationship is important. This time will help you to see if marriage is in the cards. For a lot of y'all, y'all going to be meeting someone who is marriage material. And it's going to come on the heels of a breakup that you had with someone else in the past. That's interesting. And divine union. Congratulations. It's time to celebrate. Both you and your partner have healed and learned the important lessons to allow this union to manifest. So, like I told y'all, some of y'all are going to be coming into union with someone that you meet at an event, at a wedding, remember I said that, or some type of social gathering or an event, and it's going to catch you off guard or by surprise, main attraction. Someone keep their, can't keep their eyes off of you. You are the leading star. You are the center of attention. Doesn't it look like that in that three of cups? The couple in the background right there. They gazing into each other's eyes like they just met or they know each other or whatever the case may be. You're going to be the main attraction in this new person's life that's coming in, <laughs> that you're going to be meeting, that you're going to be coming into union with. Oh, my God. Okay. What else, Spirit? What other messages, musical messages do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they happen to? Watch this timeless reading. Let's see. Guys, don't forget to like the video. And check out my book. Okay. There's too many. But some of y'all don't even realize it. It's like I said, you're going to be um, <clears throat> kind of sort of working on you, living your best single life. And that's when you're going to align with the person that you're supposed to align with. Oh my God, and y'all gonna have a courtship. Hmm. Bear with me, guys. It's kind of hard for me to um, shuffle big cards, little hands. Although these are average size cards, but let's see what we got here. 
<laughs> Trey Loren, someone told you can't make this stuff up. Wow. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Any other songs? Any other songs for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for this connection, this new connection? Whoever this person is, they match your energy. You're attracting them and they're attracting you. Or y'all are pulling onto each other. Can't make this up. Bobby Womack and Patty LaBelle. Love has finally come. I'm done. Okay. So that is all I have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for your timeless love reading. If you guys enjoy the reading, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my book, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal, available in paperback and ebook formats, available everywhere books are sold. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.